Baker Hughes successfully installs thousands of liner hanger systems worldwide every year. This includes applications ranging from short liners and vertical liners to challenging extended reach wells and high pressure, high temperature environments. In this animation, we will look at a typical liner hanger installation in detail. Welcome to Baker Hughes' introduction to liner systems. A liner is a casing string that does not extend to the top of the wellbore. It is anchored at the bottom of the previous casing string. The host casing may be a liner, or in this case, long string casing that is run to surface. After the long string is run to depth, the wellbore is circulated bottoms up with clean mud in preparation to cement the long string in place. After the first plug is landed, pressure is increased to the back side of the plug and a ruptured disc on the bottom plug ruptures, allowing the cement to be displaced from the inside of the long string to the annulus between the long string and the open hole. Float valves prevent the cement from U-tubing back inside of the long string while the cement hardens. There is now a cemented hose casing and the liner section can be drilled. After drilling through the long string's shoe track, a leak-off test is performed to determine the strength or fracture pressure of the open hole. The results of this test will dictate the mud weight applied during the next drilling operation. The test also ensures semen integrity at the shoe. After the required leak-off test is performed, drilling continues until total depth for the liner section is reached. The drilling bottom hole assembly, BHA, is then pulled out of the hole and the liner can be run. The bottom of the liner is commonly referred to as the shoe track. This generally consists of a double valve float shoe and in this scenario a type 2 landing collar. The type 2 landing collar contains a ball seat that will be used during the liner installation to hydraulically set the liner hanger and release the running tool. A casing crew will run the desired length of liner. Typically, this will include enough to cover up all open hole, plus 300 to 500 feet of overlap with the host casing, which is called the liner lap. The liner hanger assembly is now ready to be picked up. The liner hanger system consists of a flex lock liner hanger, an RS nipple, and ZXP liner top packer. The liner hanger assembly will be tripped into the hole using running tools attached to the ZXP liner top packer. The running string consists of equipment that allows the liner to be run in hole on drill pipe and successfully installed. The rotating packer setting dog sub allows set down weight to be applied to the compression set ZXP liner top packer. the HRDE liner setting tool connects to the liner top inside the HRDE profile in the liner top packer and provides means to carry the liner down hole. The HRDE tool also allows aggressive rotation if required to work the liner to bottom. The RS packoff serves as a cementing packoff directing the flow of cement down toward the liner shoe and providing a seal necessary to hydraulically activate the flex lock liner hanger. The comp drill solo liner wiper plug helps improve cement quality and allows for speedy drill out. The liner hanger assembly is made up to the liner and together they are run to desired depth on drill pipe. As the liner approaches the previous casing shoe, progress is stopped so that the pickup and slack off weights and torques can be recorded, giving the tool hand a baseline before running in open hole. After the shoe track is in open hole, this process is repeated. Circulation pressures are also established before running further into open hole.
The liner is then run to depth and the bottom is tagged. After tagging total depth, the liner is picked up and agreed distance off bottom. Circulating pressures, torque values, pickup and slack off weights are again taken. We are now ready to set our flex lock liner hanger. A setting ball is dropped from surface to provide a means to apply activation pressure. The ball is circulated down to the shoe track where it lands on the Type 2 landing collar. Pressure can now be applied from surface. At a predetermined pressure, pins in the hanger shear and a cylinder strokes upward, causing the flex lock slips to bite into the host casing. The TST will verify this from surface by slacking off the liner weight and visually checking for downward movement. The TST slacks off further on the drill pipe until the setting tool is in compression. Now pressure is once again increased from surface. Shear pins within the HRDE setting tool shear forcing the collet to retract away from the HRDE profile in the liner top packer. The running string is picked up to confirm that it is released from the liner. The loss of the liner weight should be seen. The HRDE setting tool is lowered to prepare for cementing operations. Pressure is increased again from surface to shear the ball seat in the Type 2 landing collar and circulation is re-established through the liner shoe. The liner can now be cemented. While keeping the running string in compression, cement is pumped down the drill pipe and into the liner. The RS Packoff forces the cement down the inside of the liner, out the liner shoe, and into the annulus between the liner and open hole. After the appropriate amount of semen has been displaced, a pump down plug is released from surface via a plug dropping head. It will separate the cement from the displacement fluid and wipe the inside of the drill pipe clean of cement. The pump down plug will latch into the comp drill solo wiper plug. Pressure will be increased from surface to shear pins and allow the wiper plug to be displaced down hole along with the plug. Together they create a barrier between the displacement fluid and cement, wiping the liner clean and keeping the cement from being contaminated, ensuring good quality around the liner shoe. Float valves will prevent cement from U-tubing back inside of the liner. It is time to set the ZXP liner top packer. The running string is picked up until the rotating packer setting dog sub is out of the liner top. As set down force is applied, pull down slips are pushed up a cone until they bite into the host casing. When adequate force is applied to set the ZX seal, an indicator gap will close on the rotating packer setting dog sub. When pulled out of hole, this will give assurance that the desired amount of set down weight was applied to the liner top. If required, the liner top seal can now be tested. The running string is pulled up until pack-off seal integrity is lost. This allows circulation to be established at the liner top to flush excess cement out of the hole. We have a newly installed and cemented liner. Its weight is being supported by a flex lock liner hanger and a ZXP liner top packer ensuring annular seal integrity. This well can now be drilled ahead or the liner can be tied back to surface if necessary. Contact your local Baker Hughes representative to see what liner hanger system options are available to meet your specific weld demands and ensure successful installation.